Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Um, we're going to check who is here. Vamos a ver quién está acá. I'm going to call you just to, for you to know if you are ready to begin the class. A ver si ya están pues listos para... A ver si iniciamos la clase. Uh, this is the class number nine. Clase número nueve. Ya casi estamos pues al... Casi estamos a la mitad. Almost in the middle of the course. So I'm going to check the messages. Voy a revisar los mensajes. Vamos a ver qué tenemos por acá. Okay, the class um, of tonight uh, has a topic that it is have to and need to practice. Okay, so it is a practice of these phrases. Son, eh, es la práctica de esas frases muy comunes. <clears throat> have to, need to. Okay, so um, to start, here we have this. Uh, ways to say hasta ahora, forma de decir hasta ahora, ¿verdad? En inglés normalmente eh, tenemos, we have like five forms, tenemos cinco maneras. Bueno, cuatro principalmente para decir hasta ahora. You can say so far, until now. Until, casi como una until now, entre la A y la O, ¿verdad? Se mezclan. Until now, up to now, up, ¿verdad? Con A, up, up to now. No es up to now, no, es up to now. Y la otra es heater to. Pueden decir heater to o con R, heater. Heater to, que significa hasta ahora. Ok, I'm going to call you one by one. Los llamo uno por uno. So we can have like, uh, I know some of you are, uh, some of you have difficulties with the audio. Ya me dijeron que algunos tienen problemas con el audio. And here have some others that uh, you go on traffic, van en el tráfico. I know it is kind of complicated sometimes, especially when it's raining. Okay, it's kind of difficult. Or if you move by using public transportation, right? It is like that. Well, here we have, um, remember to say hi, hello, good evening, when you listen to your name and after you, uh, you have to say one of these phrases, for example, so far, until now, up to now, here are two. ¿Qué significa? Todo eso significa hasta ahora. Okay, uh, Ana Cristina, are you there? ¿Está por ahí, Ana? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, okay. What phrase? So far. Thank you. So far. Uh, Andrea, Noemi, I don't know if you are there. Okay, Brian Ulises. I don't know if Brian is there. Maybe not now. Okay. 
Uh, Danny Anthony. I don't know. David Miguel. Uh, he's moving uh, right in the traffic. On traffic. Doris. Elizabeth. Hello. Hello, Hello Doris. So far. So far. Thank you. Uh, here we have Douglas. Alberto, no. Stephanie, I don't know if Stephanie is here. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good night. Hello. Okay, your phrase? A is... Ah, I forget. Either two. Either two. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about Gracia? Are you there, Gracia? Hi, yes. Good evening. Hello. Up to now. Perfect. Uh, Hector, do we have Hector? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, Present yes. up to now. Up to now. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, okay. What about if we have Imelda Xiomara? No, right. Okay. Um, Ivan? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Until Ivan. now. Thank you. Until now, good. Uh, we go with Joanna. Are you there, Joanna? Okay, maybe not now. Okay, Laura has difficulties with the, the audio. Luz Carrillo, are you here? I guess no. Okay, Miguel Angel. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hi, Miguel. Okay, what phrase? Until, until now. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Nelson? Well, maybe Nelson, not by now. Uh, Ricardo has, like, uh, difficulties. Wendy? Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, what's your phrase? Hitherto. Hitherto, thank you. What about Wilmer? Is here Wilmer? Okay, and uh, maybe uh, Jasmine? Hello, teacher. Okay, out of now. Thank you. Perfect, my friends. Okay, thank you very much. So we're going to have this. Mm, look. Okay. Here we have the first speaking activity. Tenemos la primera actividad eh, oral. Eh, la misma que ya se les había enviado, ¿verdad? Al grupo de WhatsApp. So, you tell me. Should public transport, o puede ser transportation, ¿verdad? Be free, debería ser gratis el transporte público. Why? Why not? You tell me your opinion. Okay? So, remember, you can give your opinion about this. Debería el transporte público ser eh, gratis. Díganme, sí, no. ¿Por qué? En el chat siempre estaría ahí pendiente. Okay? So, could it be... Ok, aquí tengo un ejemplo. Ya se los envié al chat también. Could it be like this? If you want to give like uh, some explanations, si quieren dar algunas uh, explicaciones. Perfecto. Public transport should be free because we pay taxes. ¿Verdad? Eh, debería ser gratis porque pagamos impuestos. One example. I know that you have some other ideas. Ok. And please, uh, text and in the chat and then I'm going to ask you one by one, okay?
So listen, uh, here you have a lot of points of view, I guess. Uh, you have like a very good ideas, right? And we're going to start with Gracia. And then Cristina. Okay, Gracia. Yes, to support people's economy and that this money can be used for other things. Okay, uh, very interesting. Um, you mentioned to support a could it be economy? Yeah, because uh, actually there are people who take more than two buses, three, four buses maybe, casi cuatro, más de cuatro buses. Imagine there is a lot of money, transportation, one idea. Okay, gracias, thank you. Uh, Cristina and then Luz. Okay. Yes, it should be free to help the economy of students, seniors, and employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could it be in some areas, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Doris and Brian. Okay, Doris. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh Yes, it shall be free for students and seniors. Okay, nice. Um, I consider that there are some, uh, yeah, some areas in we in which, and uh, this could be really helpful. Okay, especially for elders, for people, for for ancient people, gente que ya está bien ancianita, and for students, right? Brian, okay, and then Hector, okay, Brian, what about your points? So, for me, uh, it's not, uh, I think it's not free, uh, mm -hmm. because it's our problem for the economy to to hold us, uh, so I think it uh, uh, should be low, low cost, uh, not have a uh, bearing prices, and uh, should should be more uh, by by roads, uh, train station like uh, USA or um, or other, other country. Okay, nice. That's nice. Thank you. Good point because is as you mentioned, it is kind of complicated if we have to if we we have to. To cover that with uh, like uh, the government has a lot of expenses, tiene muchos gastos, and yeah, could it be like an idea that could affect the government um, support? Thank you, Brian. Uh, let's listen now to to Hector and then Ivan. Okay, Hector. Okay. Yes, I will be great. Because with the survey, it's for everything we have been through in our country. Okay, nice. It could be like a direct uh, help for people, right? From government to the to the Salvadorians. Thank you, Hector. Okay, Ivan and then just me. Hi, good evening. I think that yes, mostly for students because they often do not have uh, the money to pay off transportation. Is my experience uh, that sometimes I only have the money for transportation and not for food or, or vice versa. Vice versa. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, solo um, un detalle. En lugar de it is my experience, podría ser in my experience. But totally agree. Estoy de acuerdo contigo, Ivan. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I guess in my case as well, and some of you in some time in your life, maybe you were very limited with the money and you had to buy photocopies. You have to buy some material and then you you buy it, lo compran, and then you don't have an, enough money to eat or for the transportation. ¿Verdad? A veces no, no, no se tiene dinero. O sea, como que we have like two options. And this could be really helpful. Podría ser de mucha ayuda for students. 
Yeah, why not? Thank you, Ivan. Uh, Jasmine and then Miguel. Okay. Uh, of course, his show be like this. Uh, or at last, uh, that they show note also share uh, children and adults. Yes. Uh, th there are some like opposites, like kids, children, and adults. And especially because, well, kids, uh, they, they are very, what? There are some buses in which from seven years old, uh, children, the kids pay, ¿verdad? De, de lo, lo, lo niño, ¿verdad? De los siete años en algunos buses. But in some other coasters, for example, not they pay, they cobra, right? And yeah. it is like that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Also, the uh, adults, elderly adults, ¿verdad? Los, los, los adultos mm -hmm. mayores, of mm -hmm. course, mm -hmm. they don't have money to do. Well, they don't have enough money, no tienen muchos recursos. And even if they are retired, y si están retirados y todo eso, yeah, like, mm. Mm -hmm. complicated. Good point, Jasmine. Thank you very much. Okay, Miguel, okay. Ángel, and then Wendy. Okay, Miguel. Uh, public transport public transport should be free because it have a transport ourselves to where we need mm -hmm. and all taxes are paid for their man their maintenance things. yes there is Thanks. some mm -hmm, there are some bonus that uh, uh, business uh, transportation receives Hay un dinero que se da, ¿verdad? Para el subsidio para ellos. And practically, they receive uh, money per unit. Per, if the, there is a person who has three buses, they, that person receives certain quantity. So, come on. It is like, yeah, we pay taxes and we need a better service or at least a low cost or free service, ¿verdad? Necesitamos un buen transporte. Y no es con bajo costo gratis. Thank you, Miguel. Wendy and then Stephanie. Okay, Wendy, you go. Okay. Yes, it shall be free and this will reduce vehicle traffic and improve the economy and the, and the environment. Environment. Practically, if the transportation will be free, uh, yeah, that, that, that could reduce some of the the traffic maybe because nowadays we have our India tenemos but a lot of cars in El Salvador right and of course there will be maybe more units deberían de haber más unidades de transporte thank you Wendy um Stephanie right Stephanie okay. and Laura bueno Laura okay. of course it should be free because it will help have less vehicles on the road and prevent less pollution for the environment. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's one important part, okay? Less vehicles on the road, of course, and we have a lot. We have a lot. Oh. Mm, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, interesting point. Laura, creo que no, todavía no te sirve, ¿verdad? El audio, right? So, mm. Laura dice... It should not be free because taxes are paid and this helps the country's economy. Okay, and that, that's another point, right? Because maybe we would like to have free transportation, but also uh, that helps uh, to the economy to develop. At a certain point, it's part of the economy that se mobiliza. Thank you, my friends, for your opinions are very important, as always, okay? Well, uh, here we have a conversation. Look at this. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's important right away. Le dice, realmente necesito ese memorandum, Bree. Eh, solo un momento, por favor. Le dice, necesito hablar con el señor Wilson, por favor. Es muy importante. Ahora mismo, right away. So, aquí tenemos expressions to state urgency. Expresiones para, pues, detallar urgencia. Tenemos, it is very important. Escuchen, important. Hay gente que dice important o important. 
a mí me gusta decirlo de esta manera, because I have heard, escuchado esta pronunciación en los estadounidenses. Ok, look at this. Cuando tenemos estas, eh, we have these phrases, the, I'm sorry, these words, los estadounidenses la pronuncian mountain, no dicen mountain, dicen mountain, curtain, no curtain, ni curtain, dicen curtain, es como el tn, tn, curtain, important, mountain, curtain. Entonces, eso ya se escucha como más, eh, un inglés un poquito más avanzado, ¿verdad? pero ayuda a que pronunciemos todavía mejor y que se escuche como más fancy, más elegante. Mountain, curtains, curtains. Okay, so, uh, let's continue. Okay, look at this. Here we have a pair work. Read the email and organize the activities Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Creo que no es necesario que sea un, un, un equipo de trabajo, ¿verdad? Le doy un par de segundos para que me lean esto y ya consulto. Yo voy a pedir que me ayuden a leer en voz alta, pero denle una, una revisada para que captemos mejor las ideas.
I'm going to select some of these uh, sentences. Voy a seleccionar algunas de las oraciones para um, so you can so you can read. Vamos a seleccionar acá. Y luego sería Okay. Uh, from Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject very important. Tasks for this month. ¿Verdad? Ese es el asunto que es muy importante y las tareas para este mes. Dear Guadalupe. Querida Guadalupe. Dear Guadalupe. And here we have this. These are some of the tasks for this month. Esta palabra cuesta un poquito hacerla plural porque task es tarea, pero tasks es tareas. These are some of the tasks for this month. Voy a necesitar que me ayuden a pronunciar. Eh, vamos con la primera línea. Vamos a seleccionar a... Wendy, could you help me? ¿Me ayudas? Desde aquí. I really need hasta aquí. Each day, please. Okay, okay. I really need you, you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You had three days to do it. Three hours each day. Thank you. Okay, you have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Okay, very nice. And let's continue maybe with Hector. Could you help me? Call new clients. Okay. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give the catalog catalog cataloging information for June. You have today to do it on our day. Each okay. day. Mm -hmm. You have two days. Ten dos días para hacer. Today is two hours to do it. One one hour each day. Thank you. Okay, let's move now. Maybe we can have the participation of Gracias, could you help me? It's very important. Okay. It's very important to send the two latest toast reports on May 26th and the write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Four hours. And finally, we can finish with Miguel. Can you help me? Finally, finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two day to do to do it. Two hours each day. Organize Thank you. your week. Mm -hmm. Your week. <laughs> you organize your week. Organize your organize tu, tu, tu semana. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Organize tu semana. Ya le dio como las indicaciones. So. Thank you. Best regards. Lo mejor deseos, Daniel Ruiz. So, what we're going to do is to organize the activities that Guadalupe needs to do. Vamos a ver las actividades que Guadalupe tiene que hacer. And we have to organize in order. A ver cuando tiene más días, when she has more time to do some things, and when, she, when maybe uh, she has uh, like few time, cuando tal vez ella tiene poco, poco tiempo. Okay, so let's see. Here we have first, second, third, fourth, ¿verdad? La primera actividad es la más urgente cuando no tiene tiempo, when she doesn't have too much time, cuando no tiene mucho tiempo para hacerla, second, three, and four. The fourth, la cuarta es la que tiene más tiempo para hacerla, okay? So we're going to focus on the time, vamos a enfocarnos en el tiempo, the time that she has to do some things. Sorry. 
Okay. Four uh, sentences. Any idea? Remember that we have uh, some other. Very simple. Look at this. Okay. Uh, the underlying uh, information, la información subrayada, is the time that Guadalupe has to do the things. And the ones that are closed, lo que están encerradas en un cuadrito, in the box, uh, those are the activities. Esas son las actividades. Maybe we can have the participation of Stephanie. Any idea about the first, second, third, or fourth activity? A ver si Stephanie nos puede colaborar un poco. Uh, menos tiempo, sí. Sí, las que tienen menos tiempo is the first one. Okay. Y la donde tiene más tiempo para hacerla es la, es la cuatro. Ok, let me see. I believe is the call the new clients. Uh -huh. From the last three, oh, no, 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 okay. no. Call new clients. Could it be like that? Or maybe other, quizás otra. I, I read because say you have two days to do it, one hour each day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Lord, I think, I believe, is is this okay what number first second third or fourth uh, first first call clients call, yes first call the client the new clients okay call the new clients para esta tiene you have two days tienes dos mm -hmm. días okay one it's hours three. okay to do it in one hour yeah but you have two days yeah. tiene dos días para hacerlo una hora cada mm -hmm. día. Eso es como la, la, la división. Lo importante son los días. Days. Ok, here we have three days. Two days. Here we have... You have one day. Aquí tiene un día. One day. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. And here we have two days. Esta sería empatada. This okay. and yeah. this. Send it to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Send it to late... So reports. Reports. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Okay, para eso tiene one day to do it. Lo tiene que hacer ya, one day. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the number one, right? Yes. And yes, the see. two latest reports. Okay, let's do it. Okay, thank you. Uh, maybe we can have, I don't know, uh, if, yes, most, Brian? The number four is the most longer, right? The, yeah, the, uh, the, the most longer. time. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, the number four for me is uh, contact the first three potential customers mm -hmm. because you have three days to yeah. do it and three hours for each, each day. Yeah. Contact the... Yeah, imagine three days. Uh, she's like, hmm, not so difficult. Okay, I'm going to check this. Okay, contact. Yeah, it is. And send the new reports. Okay, we have now all the new clients and visit the two stores. Okay, maybe one volunteer. Mm -hmm. In both activities, she has two days to do it. Any ideas? Okay, Ivan, you tell me. My guess is um, 
she calls the new clients because she have a two days and one hour each One day. hour, okay, okay, thank you. Call new clients. Yeah, could it be? Because Guadalupe has a schedule. Ella tiene una agenda. And she has divided every day with different activities and different times, different horas. So she can do this in one day, but no. Uh, the indications on the instructions, la indicación dice a certain no, number of, of hours, okay? So that's it, thank you. Call the new client, and now the last one, visit the two stores, okay? Mm -hmm. So could it be like this? And the order of importance, el orden de importancia of these activities, okay? Well, Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue. Okay, now. I'm sorry. Okay. Here we have this uh, well conversation between John and Anne. Okay, Anne, uh, I'm sorry. Here we have two specific uh, phrases. Need to, que ya les había dicho que es, yo necesito, tú necesitas, alguien necesita hacer tal cosa. Y la otra es, have to, es, yo tengo que hacer eso, tú tienes que hacer eso. Okay, John dice, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Yeah, aquí tenemos un par de frases. Some phrases that I need you to pay attention. Okay. Okay, yo sé que dice interesting, pero fíjense bien. Esta e no es interesting. La primera e es silenciosa, es muda. Interesting. Al inicio, interesting, tres sílabas. Interesting, ¿verdad? I know this is kind of tricky because uh, some students, some participants says inter interesting, interesting, but no. Interesting. Tres sílabas. Eh, luego tenemos reschedule. De, en, de hecho, solo la palabra schedule eh, ya, ya, ya cuesta. Y ya con re sería reschedule. Re Reschedule. Serían tres sílabas. Reschedule. Como interesting reschedule. Ok. Y la otra es clients. Él le dice, Ana, es, ¿hay algo importante que necesites hacer mañana? Sí. Actually, y aquí quiero que pongan atención. Actually, como les había dicho antes, no significa actualmente. Significa en realidad. La verdad es que, ¿verdad? Entonces, sería, sí, en realidad necesito llamar a algunos clientes. ¿Y tú? Bueno, tengo que eh, eh, agendar de nuevo, ¿verdad? O reorganizar dos o, eh, reuniones para mañana. Ellas eh, fueron canceladas hoy. O oh, es muy malo, sí. Tengo que brindar información importante de, a algunos clientes. That sounds interesting. Eso suena interesante. Ok. Remember, actually, clients reschedule interesting. Voy a necesitar que hagan una captura de pantalla. Si pudiesen enviar la captura, sería bastante provechoso.
Ok, please, a ver si me, me pueden enviar la captura para que todos tengamos, pues, para que no haya mayor dificultad. Si me envían la captura, please, a veces Stephanie creo o Jasmine me la envíe para que no tengamos mayor dificultad. Thank you, Nelson. Okay, my friend, see you in a moment. Let me go moment. Please accept the request. Por favor, accept the solicitud. Héctor, ¿te llegó la solicitud? Igual a Wilmer, que se acaba de, 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 de conectar, ya le envié la solicitud también. Eh, Héctor, I don't know if you are there. Hola, teacher. Ahorita está cayendo una gran tormenta, teacher. Casi ah, no escucho. Entiendo. Sí, sí, pero ahorita voy a tratar de unirme porque sí estamos... Está bastante fuerte la, la lluvia. Ok. Luz, no sé si te ha llegado la solicitud. Igual a David, David. Sí, teacher, pero ahorita voy conduciendo para a mi casa. Ya Comprendo. casi llego. Comprendo. Bueno.
Okay, my friends, and uh, we're going to have this practice. Vamos a tener esta práctica. Maybe Gracia and Wendy can help us. Gracia okay. and Wendy, are you ready? Okay, please. Here we have John and Anna, but in your case, maybe we can have like a... En lugar de decir Anne, pueden decir el nombre de su compañero. Okay. Compañera, ok. Please, uh, uh, gracias. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, está bien si empiezo yo, Wendy. Sí, eh, Wendy. Ok, uh, gracias, uh, John, and uh, Anne is Wendy. Ok. When is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some custom. That sounds interesting. Thank you. Yes, uh, muy bien. Good pronunciation. Buena pronunciación. Pero lo que me dijiste interesting y es interesting. Pero lo bueno es que no pronunciaste la E. Ok, thank interesting. you. Interesting. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Bien, okay. bien rara. Esa, vaya. esa palabra es bien tricky. Y le voy a decir otra que también es como un poco así tramposita. Esta, ya que me acabo de acordar. Ok, tenemos interesting y también interested, pero la primera se pronuncia interesting y la segunda similar, solo que el final cambia. Interested, interesting, interested. Como sea, esta E, this letter is not pronounced, esta letra no se pronuncia. So thank you, ¿verdad? Interesting, interested. Thank you. Es bueno, pues, pronunciarlas, ok. Uh, maybe we can have some other participation, for example. Déjame ver quién más. Eh, Cristina and Stephanie, could you please? Podrían. I think, yeah. Hello. Ok. Ok, please, could you? Eh, solo recuerden, ¿verdad? Actually, clients, reschedule, reschedule, interesting. Ok, ¿quién sería John? Okay. Me. Me, ok, Stephanie. En lugar de Anne, dices Ana. Ah, bueno, Ana, sí. Anne, ¿qué parece? Chris, oh, Christine, I can? Yes, oh, Christine, Christine, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. <laughs> to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you. Well, I have to uh, res, Re uh, reschedule. 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 Oh, again, please. <laughs> reschedule. Okay. Reschedule. Okay. Well, I have to reschedule. Two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have to provide important. In, ah, no, 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 era important. Sí, Import, ¿verdad? Important. 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 Information to some customers. That was so interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Sounds interesting. Very nice. We're going to practice later some of this words. Thank you. Well done. Now um, we're going to have this. I have a, okay, I have a listening. Tenemos un listening acá y pues para esto I will need, eh, si necesitaré que. We're going to pay attention. Este audio está bastante interesante. Very interesting. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm going to prepare this audio.
voy a hacer algo. Go, um, we ha, I have two audios here. Tengo dos audios. O sea, me refiero a la misma información, pero diferente persona. There are two girls. I'm going to play both. Voy a reproducir a ambas. Y ustedes me dicen a cuál le entienden más. ¿Ok? Number one or number two. Vamos con la primera. Y esto, this exercise helps us to have like an idea what to expect. Este, este ejercicio nos ayuda a tener una idea qué nos espera cuando una persona que no conocemos nos va a decir algo. ¿Ok? Eh, audio number one. Hey guys, my name is Lisette, L-I-S-S-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, but not Lisette, L-I-Z-E-T-H. I work in a restaurant downtown. Its name is Los Pollos Hermanos, and my boss is Gus Frings. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager. And in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different trainings related to customer service, cooking, recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay, that was audio number one. Let's listen now to number two. The same information, but different person. Misma información, diferente persona. Hey guys, my name is Lisette. L I S E T E, but no Lisette. L I Z E T H. I work in a restaurant in downtown. Its name is Los Pollos Hermanos, and my boss is Gus Friends. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager. And in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different trainings related to customer service, cooking and recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay. Here we have exercise number one, uh, listening number one and listening number two. De las reacciones, vamos a ver. Um, pónganme un pulgar arriba, thumb up. ¿Quién le entendió más al audio número uno? Quiero, por lo menos, si captar un poquito más de palabras. A ver si fue el audio uno. Vamos a ver. We are one, two, three. Tenemos tres personas que le entendieron un poquito más al audio número uno. Four. Cuatro con Wendy. Five. Cinco personas. Ok. Six. Thank you. No, audio number one. Eh, ¿Me puede levantar el thumb up, pulgar arriba? ¿Quién le entendió más al audio número dos? If there is a person. One, ok. One, Luz, Wilmer, Ivan, thank you. Ok, three. Ok, good. You have like more understanding on audio number two, al audio número dos. Pero, pero, la mayoría le entendió más al uno, right? So, um, do you have words? ¿Tienen palabras? que ustedes captaron o, se, o quieren que escucharlo de nuevo. Do you want to listen again? Se me dice si quieren escuchar de nuevo. Pondría el uno de nuevo. If not, I don't know if you have some words. Tienen palabras. Ok. I'm going to play one more time. Lo voy a poner una vez más. El número uno. Y please, well, try to write or identify words. Intenten identificar palabras. Intenten identificar, pues, también frases, ideas. Ok. Se pueden copiar algo. Nice. Let's listen. 
Hey guys, my name is Lisette, L-I-S-S-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, but not Lisette, L-I-Z-E-T-H. I work in a restaurant downtown. Its name is Los Pollos Hermanos, and my boss is Gus Rings. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager. And in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different trainings related to customer service, cooking, recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay, let's see. Very nice, Gracia. Como dice en el chat, everything is possible, but not easy. Mm -hmm. That's practically part of the of the information. Okay, uh, any anybody else? Alguien más tiene alguna palabra, alguna frase? A word or phrase related to this? Okay, maybe, I don't know, Nelson, any idea? Or maybe, yes, Ivan, any word? I listened to, she worked in the restaurant in downtown. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah, that's it, thank you. And Ivan? And then we're going to Her listen. name is Lisette. Uh, she works at a restaurant downtown. Uh, mm -hmm. Pollo Los Hermanos. She, <laughs> okay. she, wor she, she works and signed three, uh, five years ago. Okay. She... She studied business administration, mm -hmm. I guess. Thank you. And Thank you. <laughs> the next years, uh, her, her, her switch is a manager and the mm -hmm. future customer server. She, she takes, she has different training, customer yep. service. Cook, and that's it. Thank you. Very nice. Yes, Ivan. Perfect. A lot of information. Does mean you have uh, some information? Um. Hey, hi guys. My name is Lisette. Mm -hmm. A B C E T H. I was say los pollos hermanos. Yeah. Uh, net here is so so a dream. Lady, uh, I work a restaurant, a boss, mm -hmm. business, trainee, cookies, my yeah, goal. No. Um, so I'm working really good guy, creo que dijo al final. Okay, perfect. You, you, I like, I like my business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. That's it's been a, a lot of information as well. Thank you. Okay, um, I guess now you understand more words and you got uh, more ideas. Creo que ya captan más ideas and that's really, but really positive. Uh, come on. Here is the, the text, the, the, the information that this person uh, mentioned. Hey guys, my name is Lisette and she spells, ella deletrea. L I S S E T T E, but not Lizette. L I Z E T H. Entonces dice: Mi nombre es Lizette de esta manera, no Liz. Lizette de la otra manera. And that's it. Working in a restaurant downtown, Los Pueblos Hermanos. Yeah. Five years working as a waitress. Yeah. Business administration and so on. So she's working, in, but she's studying and she she has some plans for the future right 
So that's it. And the last idea in my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. That's it. A very hard worker woman. Mujer bastante trabajador. Okay. So what we're going to do is the next. Vamos a hacer, vamos a avanzar con lo siguiente. And in this case, we're going to create some uh, some conversations. Aquí vamos a crear una conversación basada en esto. Pretty work. Create a conversation with your functions. Vamos a crear una conversación basándose en las funciones que ustedes tienen. You already know the functions. You already know um, the, the obligations, duties, the tasks. You do, for example, I need to call some clients. I have to I have to provide important information. Okay. So uh, in this case, there are just three functions that there are that the, well that they mentioned but of course you can uh, you can add more information if you want pueden agregar más si ustedes necesitan okay we're going to create a conversation based on this basándose en esto lo que John y Ana dicen of course if you don't want to say reschedule sino que decir reschedule cámbienla verdad entonces aquí básicamente se dice yo necesito hacer algo eh, La primera parte pueden, pueden copiarla igual, ¿verdad? Algo que tienen que hacer mañana y ustedes le van cambiando, ¿verdad? No hay problema. You can use your imagination, your creativity. Recuerden que ustedes tienen diferentes funciones y, y obligaciones en su empresa. So, we're going to create a, like a conversation basándose en eso. Les voy a dar alrededor de unos 10 minutos para que la puedan crear. Eh, pueden cambiarla si quieren pueden agregarle más información pueden hacerle un poquito más extensa si ustedes quieren no hay problema ok es importante que la copien y todo porque si todo aquí todo vamos a pasar porque necesitamos escuchar diferente eh, la, las diferentes conversaciones que vamos a tener questions for this preguntas dudas ok we're going to work in this. Let me check. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Lo veo en un momento. Please accept the request, accept the solicitude, y comencemos a trabajar en la conversation. Luz, no sé si te ha llegado la solicitud. David, bueno, creo que ibas manejando David, ¿verdad? Pero Luz, sí, ¿verdad? Luz, si ¿sí te ha llegado la solicitud.
Okay, my friends, let's listen to some of your conversations. I guess you're kind of ready. You are like complete with your conversation. So let's check. Maybe we can have Ivan and Nelson. Are you ready for uh, showing your, your conversation? Yes, teacher. Okay, my friends. Go ahead, show time. Nelson. Nelson, Hi, Nelson. Yes. Hello, Nelson. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. I hear. Okay, my friends. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nelson. How are you doing this week at work? Uh, hi, Ivan. On Monday, I have uh, to pay a supply. The supplies. How about you? Um, this this Monday, I need to have uh, two meetings. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. I will know. I will meet. I will meet meet potential clients on Wednesday. That's so interesting. This day, I have to send a report. Uh, will you be signed a new client on Friday? Yes, I am fri on Friday at night at I dinner with the clients. Very nice. Okay. It, teacher. Inter interesting. Improvising. You No, but you added a lot of information. Like, I bastante. Thank you, Ivan and Nelson. Perfect. Well done. Bien hecho. Uh, Ana Cristina and Stephanie. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Christine. Hello. Is there something you need to, to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I have to check emails of different departments. And you? Well, I have to reach, no, reach. Teacher, please. Mm -hmm. Reschedule. The words rest, reschedule. Okay. Thanks. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Mm -hmm. mm. That's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We go now with Brian and Miguel. How are you doing? Come on. So are you, are you ready? Uh, so Miguel, uh, that's uh, say that like a John, but I improve in the part of N. Okay, if you want to, okay. 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 Vaya, empieza Miguel con con lo de John. Brian, in your job, do you need? What do you do? So I do prefer uh, to create a lot of uh, PCs. So my favorites are um, PC gamers. Okay. And what is the more important activity to you do in your job? So the most important is uh, about of check warranties because it's important for the clients. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice, well done. Well done, my friend, thank you. And now it's the time for Hector and Wilmer. Hi, teacher. Uh... Okay. Okay. Uh... Uh... Uh, uh, hi, Hector. Is there sometimes 
you need to do tomorrow? Yes, I thought I have to review some banks transfer. I'm you. Well, I I have to visit some clients and finish some electrical for tomorrow. Ah, that's very good. Yes, I have to visit them. Perfect. Very good. Forward. Nice. Well done. Well done. Adapting uh, the information that you, well, of your job. Thank you, Hector Wilmer. And finally, we're going to have Gracia and Gwen. Gracia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Creo que, mm -hmm. creo que empieza, bueno, yo no empiezo yo, perdón. Okay, nice. <laughs> Wonderful. When is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to review the report. The reports. And you? Well, I have to visit producers of corn and beans tomorrow. There we can sell it today. Oh, your agenda is very sad and heavy. Yes, I have to provide them with technical assistance to increase production. That sounds interest interesting. Thank, thank you, thank you. Um, we are complete, right? The very nice participation. All of you did it great. Um, just one question. Just me. You couldn't work with uh your partner, right? No pudiste trabajar, verdad? Just me. Te había agregado. Sí, el que dice le no vota M10. No sé quién es. Eh, y no contestó. Te había agregado David, pero va de camino, okay. Y pues igual Luz no 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 me contestó para nada. Le estuve diciendo si si había podía aceptar. Okay, but thank you, just me. Relax, okay. We're about to finish. Um, we're going to comp go to the speaking activity, y con esto pues estaríamos casi pues finalizando la clase. Um, here we have this. Do you think that life is better now than 50 years ago? Crees que la vida es mejor ahora que hace 50 años? Why? Por qué? Uh, we have to take into account different things, uh, money, technology, uh, illnesses, que son enfermedades, um, some, uh, yes, yeah, so, some aspects related to family, related to environment, el ambiente, uh, the number of houses, a lot of aspects that you can take into account before you give your opinion. So, and please, I need you to text and write what are your ideas, okay? Or your answers about this question from the speaking activity. Okay. For example, you can say, Life is better now. You can say yes. Porque la pregunta es, ¿crees que la vida es mejor ahora que hace 50 años? Le voy a dar dos ejemplos, puede ser cualquiera de esos. Obviamente ustedes dan más información, ¿ok? Puede ser. La pregunta es, eh, ¿creen que la vida es mejor ahora que 50 años? Puede ser, yes, because we have Wi-Fi. Sí, porque tenemos Wi-Fi. O puede ser, no, no es mejor ahora, era mejor antes. No, because before we had more rivers. No, porque antes teníamos más ríos. That, just example of some ideas that you may say, ¿ok? Please. 
I'm going to be waiting for your answers and then we finish the class. Okay, my friends? It is important to give your opinion, your point of view, because you have lived, you have perceived different things, right? Uh, related to family, related to work. Okay, remember the traffic. That's some other point. I know that maybe 50 years ago, uh, you you were not like, well, I don't know. How old are you? No sé qué edad tienen. Pero han escuchado cosas, okay? You have uh, listened different things about here in El Salvador, like in the past, in el pasado.
okay to finish this i'm sorry to finish this um we're going to listen to some of your opinions and we say goodbye okay christy Anna christy you are the first one and then we go with luz Cristina. Okay, maybe Cristina is not know, ready. Cristina. Okay, then Luz. Okay, Cristina. And okay. after Luz, please. I think that in some aspect it's better because access to education has improved Technolog technological advance. There are new laws that protects children and women yeah it very interesting point laws i lay it protect children and women i like that idea thank you yeah i agree de acuerdo luz mm -hmm. um and then miguel okay luz go ahead yes because we have more technology mm -hmm. we have more technology now yeah nice uh, Miguel and then Wendy. Okay, Miguel. Yes, because we have better communication with other people, no matter where is it, the other benefits is the time to have moved from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, communication. Okay, thank you. Wendy and then, well, Laura creo que no puede... Yo lo voy a leer, pero Wendy and then Brian. Wendy, please. Yes, it is better in many aspects. For example, technological advances that have improved communication, but more values that were practiced 50 years ago have also been lost. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, could it be? Uh, technological, okay. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Laura dice, yes, because we fear more technological advances, although now there is more pollution in the environment. Sí, Laura, tenemos más contaminación. That's true. Brian, and then just me. Please, Brian. So, I think it is 50 to 50 because currently the majority uh, of the of the world's populator, population mm -hmm. uh, the depends a lot of technology uh, and some now know how to to do simple tax uh, but on the other hand uh, before be before we did not have a technology advances uh, that I have now mm -hmm. yeah that's it and then now yeah, we have some advanced, but yeah, maybe 50-50. Thank you. Jasmine and Nelson. Quise poner al principio, yes. Yes, it is better uh, on day one and because of technology, uh, but um, they sometimes uh, know before we are in in ¿Cómo se dice ni eh, como childhood? Como... Childhood. Mm -hmm. Childhood. Okay. Childhood children. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice. Good point. Nelson and Wilmer. And we say goodbye in a box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think uh, it depends. It is true that there is more access to health, uh, to and education and others, other situation or, or things. But mm -hmm. we are more stressed. Uh, there is more pollution, mm -hmm. but this, this is uh, our reality. And who know that it will be like in the 50 years. The future, in the 50 years. The we future. don't know. We don't know, right? Thank you. That's a perfect. And Wilmer, please. Okay. Uh, yes, because we have more access to technology. Mm -hmm. uh, no, because before we had less pollu pollution. Thank you. That's it. Okay. And Stephanie, se va. 
y todos nos vamos ya. Lo, voy a tomar sus respuestas como eh, lista de asistencia, ¿ok? Thank you for all your opinions. See you tomorrow. Lo veo mañana. Recuerden hacer las tareas y el midterm, el examen de medio curso. ¿Ok? Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Descansen. Bye, bye. El examen de medio curso es para hoy o mañana. Mañana. Pueden okay. hacerlo mañana. Todavía en la noche. No problem. Excelente. Gracias. Good night. You're welcome, my friend. Have a good night. Teacher. Eh, sí, ma. Dime. Sorry. Uh, se lo envía Nelson. Personal. Como estaba hablando con él en el chat, no lo cambio para todos. Sorry. Mm. No problem, no problem. Yo te pongo acá, ¿verdad? Sí, sorry. Relax. Sí. No problem, Iván. Thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme. Ah, ya lo enviaste. Thank you. Ahorita reviso. Ok. Ok, have a good night. Sí. Bye bye. Good tomorrow.